darkened room I lie here as I face the bitter truth If it weren't for my wrongs Maybe you'd still be right Alone in this cold, cold bed James is a physician. He's an OB, Gen, Obstetrics, and Gynecology. And he's a very skilled, intelligent, educated doctor and surgeon, but he is not good at other parts of his life. He's not good at relationships. And when he sees Jane, it is almost love at first sight uh, from the moment he puts eyes on her. One of my favorite lines is when I tell Jane that I love her. And she said, do you know what you said? And I said, I know what I said. I meant it. I said, and she's very doubtful of what's going on. And I tell her, I said, I don't want to be a mistake. I'm not a mistake. And I'm really trying to convince her to fall in love with me like I love her. And I tell her I'm totally committed and totally in. Uh, I've never had a broken heart. Go ahead, break my heart. Uh, I've never been dumped. Let's give this a shot. And if you need to, then dump me. But I'm not going to let this moment be the point of rejection. That's not in my book. My favorite scene is when I am with Tom in my apartment and he comes over and I'm doing some work and we start talking about Jane after my first meeting with Jane and he doesn't understand how I could be in love with this woman because he's a player and he says to me, come on, why don't you just hit it and quit it and I convince him, I said, look, I don't want to just quit it. He doesn't realize that I'm more of a romantic than he is and I'm looking for true love. I found the script to be very well written, very interesting, very clever, uh, a lot of great scenes, a lot of great relationships, very interesting characters. The character development that happens just by an excellent group of actors and actresses uh, made it something that keeps you very engaged. And a lot of movies don't do that. A lot of movies sort of drag on, but I thought the character development and the uh, uniqueness, all of them really sort of caught my eye to want to be part of the movie. Filming in Schulenburg was idyllic as a small town. It captures the essence of being in Texas and what small town life is like. Uh, from being in the coffee shop to being at the bowling alley to being at the bar and the restaurants, everybody knows each other's name and everybody has a relationship in some capacity or not. And I think Schulenburg is just an ideal environment to film, uh, especially this movie. It really sort of captures the essence of what Honeymoon was trying to capture in the film. Working with Honeymoon as the director was an incredible experience. Her writing is incredibly on point and there's so much depth to the writing that she brings to the film. And Honeymoon is somebody who you can collaborate with in a great way. Uh, we can brainstorm about ideas. We'll say, you know, we'll bring maybe concept A and she'll make it A+. plus. It was just a joy to work with her and for her and I'd love to do it again. I think for anybody from Texas or who lives in the South, they're going to really enjoy this film. I think this film captures the essence of what Texas life is like in this century. It captures small town values, it's funny, it's multicultural, it's quirky, it's got love, it's got humor, it's got some sadness to it. But it comes together as a beautiful film made by Texans, of Texas, about Texans, small town Texas life, small town Texas values, uh, relationships that Texans can have and that only Texans can generate. Let's support uh, this film, Perfectly Oblivious, because it's good for Texas and it's good for all of us.